Do you know what that awful milk person just said to me? He said I was 120 pounds of cottage cheese. <laughs> Am I? Of course not. I don't pay any attention to Milt. He's just very dedicated to good health. He'd probably live to be 100. That's too bad. <laughs> I'm really having a good time. Oh. <laughs> oh, Susan. I'm sorry your marriage failed. <laughs> but I'm glad you're here. That's fair. <laughs> Susan, it's time to open my present. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, nope, that doesn't look like Tupperware to me, man. You were supposed to bring a whole bunch of Tupperware. Will milk. you get away from me with your Tupperware? Now this, this is a housewarming present. Yeah. It'll slim your waist, trim your hips, flatten your tummy. If I'm lying, I'm dying. Try it. Uh, <laughs> Do I take care of my own? No. <laughs> a beauty pot? I brought one for everybody. Okay. Like Sweet. some kind of guy or what? No, you're come the best. All right, hey, come on, let's get into it. All right, let me show you some terrific exercises you can do with these yeah. things. Come on, Party. let me get this set. Okay. 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 Now, everybody, down on your belly. <laughs> down on your belly. Down, 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 I hope I'm not too late. Oh, no, don't worry. Here, we got one for you in here. Well, I, uh, I just can't believe this, Susan. I leave you alone in Hollywood for three weeks, and you end up on the floor with four people dressed in rubber. I didn't expect you, Frank. I can see that. Just a minute, Frank. <laughs> And I'm really surprised at you, Victoria. Uh, we're being rude. Uh, forgive me, everyone. This is Frank Hughes, my sister's estranged husband. My, how that rolls off your tongue. I want to just go into the kitchen. Well, Susan, I hope you have some explanation for all that. Yes, of course, Frank, there's a perfectly simple explanation. I, I, I don't owe you an explanation, Frank. I'm having a party with my friends. Your friends? Goodness gracious. All right, Susan, I want you to pack your things right now and come home with me. Uh, I can't do that, Frank. I am home. This is home? Yes. Then why did you call me? Well, I'm sorry, Frank, uh, but I was lonely and I was scared. And you needed me to take care of you. I needed a friend. Susan, stop acting like a child and get packed. That's it. That's it, Frank. You treat me like a child and that's how I act with you. Sure, I'm lonely. Sure, I'm scared, but every day I get a little less scared and I feel a little stronger. And I could never do that if I went back with you. Because you wouldn't let me. You really think you can make it on your own? I'm going to try. Well, if you want to call me tonight, I'll be at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Yes. Then tomorrow night, I'll be at the Palmer House in Chicago. Yes. And then I'll be at the Pierre in New York. Yes. And then I'll be... home. Yes. Do you have enough money? No. <laughs> but that's okay. I give you my handkerchief, but it matches the tie. <laughs> I understand, Frank. Here, you can mail it to me. <laughs> On second thought. <laughs> well, goodbye, Frank. Goodbye, Susan.
Stella, you must have been a fun couple. <laughs> Oh, thanks, that hurts a little bit, but I'm sort of proud of myself. <laughs> you see that square she was married to? And you think I don't stand a chance with her, huh? Well, I guess it's official. I got a new life, and you're it. <laughs> okay, everybody, down in your belly! <laughs>